Hi. Now we will discuss what is the purpose of alert shape. Alert is nothing but the notifications. Okay, so if you want to send any notifications, let's say, for example, when the bot is completed or when the bot is moved or when it is pending or when it is uh, started, if you want to see the alert, so then we can, we have to work with alert shape. Let's, for example, let me take any existing process. For example, let's take this environmental variable one. Okay. Here, observe this. This is your alert shape. This is just for the notification. Other than that, it won't do anything. Just it will send you notifications. Now, here I'm giving. I am a alert. Just I have given some information here. Just I am a alert. So when the calculation is done, then it is going to alert and then it will come here. But this alert will work only in control room. Only in control room, not in your process studio. Let's observe this. See this. Does it show any message to you? No, right? Because we didn't implemented any configurations to this alert. If you want to work with alert, first we need to do the configurations in system manager, then only you can able to work with this. And if you want to see the alert indications, then we have to publish and we need to do that in a control room. We are publishing this one, published. We saved this process. The process name is environmental variable. Let's close this. So how to configure alert? Now observe this, come to the system manager and then come to the users. Here, if you observe the hammer icon, click on the hammer and then configure process alert. See this, click on that. For which one you need to configure alert? So now we need to configure alert for environmental variable. Here two types of alert, different types of alert is available, notification methods and business process. Business process means when it is pending, when it is running, completed, stopped, or failed. So each and every stage, it will show you alert. This is the business process alert. When it is coming to the notification, it will show you the pop-up alert. It will play a sound, and then it will show history and taskbar icon. So let me click everything. Okay, let's observe whether it is going to turn out. So we have given everything here, and then apply. And then, so this belongs to schedule. Let it be. This not belongs to schedule. Okay. It's not required. Okay. Now apply. This is not required. Come here. Now we have created this for environment. Apply. Ensure you have selected at least one notification method. Okay. So let's take pop up alert. Apply. It's not allowing. Let's take this. Apply and then OK. Now we have configured the alert. Let's see how it will show you here in your control room now. We are moving this environment here. See this, it's moved. It has to show alert here, and the down. It has to show you. So somehow it is not showing here. Okay, let me run and then check. So now we are running. It will show you here each and everything, the kind of alert. It will display here. So in your screen, it will display started completed and then it has been moved and then it came to this particular server like that it will show you alerts that is the main intention of alerts when you are running that in a control room other than that we won't use this alert so for any other sub functions just for the notifications 
that's it thank you